New Horizon, welcome to the third week in our Lenten series and today we're focusing on the women at the well. So I thought that why don't I get alongside some water. So myself and JD have come out to the water and I'm hoping and praying that there are no iguanas anywhere so you might see us run for cover or definitely me. Um, but I, I wanted to speak a little bit today about the the encounter that Jesus has with the woman at the well. So as you know, the well was such an important part of community, of life, living in the desert pretty much for the, the ancient people. They would have needed to go to the well, but we see this woman coming to the well in the middle of the day and it kind of shows us that, that she was ostracized, she was kind of separated from society and we know the deal. She was a woman that had six husbands, Probably five husbands, one guy that she was with. So the bottom line is that she just, she wasn't liked by anybody. But Jesus decides that he's going to meet her and encounter her. And as he encounters her, he speaks to her and he sees her and he sees who she really is. And he confronts her to speak about who she really is. And I want to encourage you this week in your Lenten journey to read the story of Jesus at the well with a Samaritan woman. But I want you to do it differently as part of our, uh, our Lectio Divina Imago Deo series. I want you to imagine that you are that woman. That Jesus is coming to you and saying, I'm thirsty, will you give me something to eat? This first Christian encounter, because that's what really this is about, it is about Jesus making an encounter and explaining to this woman that he is the Messiah and she becomes an evangelist. So, so be the one that Jesus says, can you give me something to drink? And as he asks you, kind of look at what are the excuses in your own life that you get to when Jesus asks you for something. Can you recognize that it's even Jesus speaking to you? So part of our practice this week is to become the woman at the well. Kind of experience what it means to encounter Jesus. One of the things that we must often confront and find in our Lenten journey is the place of the first encounter with the Christian faith. We live in a world that is pretty much tons of people, millions of people are Christian, but for some people there is always going to be a first time that they hear about the gospel. Maybe this week you will become that first encounter with someone else. Be that encounter that really transforms their lives. I pray and hope that your Lenten journey is going well as we experience the gift of who Jesus is for us at the well. See you next week.